We are so grateful. Our good friends over at NextWave sent us their RS1000 Pro automated router table. Let's unbox it. Let's get him out on the router table. We got a Prezi. Next wave sent us, Evan sent us a present. Comes with our favorite thing. Directions. Oh. oh. I almost hit the skateboard. <laughs> they don't know what we're talking about yet. We haven't released the skateboard video yet. Wow, this is a hefty piece of equipment. Wow. Router table fence. Comes with a sliding miter. That's cool. Ooh, it's lots of computer stuff. The nerd in me just got really excited. There's a touch plate, inserts, cable, computer cable. Yep, Craig le levelers. Whoa. Power supply, that's probably pretty important. Router plate and a lift. Not me lifting. If you have a next wave in your shop like we do, this should look familiar. This is the LCD pendant. Oh, note to self, we're taking all the bolts out that's holding the current router on. Probably should remember that before I pull the last bolt out. Yeah. <laughs> Standard Bosch router motor, we can reuse this. Okay, we pulled all the parts out, we laid them out on the table. You may notice a difference. We got really, really close. Actually, we got more than close. We have the check under the table dumbass from the cutout that we were gonna cut into the Jessam tabletop I had, and it'll come out in the blooper reel what happened. So now we went ahead and we got the Craig table. This is actually designed, all things happen for a reason. My father used to say that all the time and my mother still does. This product is designed to go right in the Craig table. And if I would have paid attention earlier, probably would have saved myself about six hours and a couple. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> we're gonna get started using the Craig table. We're gonna take that Craig table and we're gonna mount it to the Jessam base. Now, full circle. One of the things I noticed when I took the now defunct Jessam top off of the Jessam mount, down here in the bottom, there's actual places for me to put a cabinet. I can build a cabinet that we can just drop in here and I don't have to go buy other stuff. So yeah, I may have sacrificed the top. We learned a lot. And at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. Alrighty, now that the parts are out, mounting the positioner. We're gonna mount this on the table. What we need to do is we need to take this and mount this on our table. Forward till the front bolts touch the back edge of the table. We gotta mark it on the center line. So we gotta mark the center line of the router table. A router table, is 32 inches. Well, no, it's really 31 and 7 eighths. Um, that's the center. Now, we did this ahead off camera. So here's our center at 3 and 3 sixteenths. We're gonna line up on that mark we put on the table. So I wanna mark the center mark on the back because I marked it and I won't be able to see what I'm doing here. Do you hear all that fun noise in the background? That's our army of little wieners being printed on the 3D printer. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Quarter inch holes. Supervisors here, pro tip, get yourself a center punch. Marks the spot, drill bit doesn't wander, makes life easier. I think it would be prudent, which is an SAT word for makes sense, to put these on first and get our router plate level because we know we have to flip this over. If you're using the Craig table, you're gonna wanna do that. The Craig table comes, which again, saves you so much time, pre-drilled. Hey, Jessam, if you're watching, we might need a new tabletop. Don't ask us how. <laughs> Check the blooper reel. While well, I'm putting this together, if you haven't had the chance, go down in the description below. Check out our affiliate link with Next Wave. Help feed our coffee habit, please. I'm gonna lay this on here for now. So we're gonna leave these screws. I'm gonna get them close, then I'm gonna use the Allen key. I'm supposed to leave them three eighths of an inch down. We can set the calipers at three eighths. Lock it down. Ta-da. How cool is that? If you're gonna do this, highly recommending. In my unsponsored opinion, pick up the Craig table, save yourself some time. Okay, I think that's close enough. We're gonna have to adjust it, of course. And I think it's time to mount this to the table. Guess we'll just center it front to back, huh? I don't know what's more exciting, putting together the router table or Scott Goldstein walking into the shop like he owns the place. Do you want your own little wiener? <laughs> or would you like a big wiener?
Yay! Yeah, alright, I'll put the fence on. We have the fence on, now we do the router lift assembly. We know this is level, so we're gonna drop this in and we're gonna screw that, these bolts down. Okay, pendant goes into... Ooh, fighter gauge! Thank you, Evan. Before I slide the guide rail out, I'm taking these little rubber washers off. I believe they go to another part, but Honestly, checking it out. Doesn't fit in the T-Track anyway. Guide rail on top, pretty simple. Center the rail on the fence. I hate when they do that to us, because then you know what happens, right? Actually... Look at that. Oh my God. Inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter. Dang. Get the hell out. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> and then take the screw, take the knobs, the miter gauge, Screw them in. Now we know what to do with the rubber washers. Rubber washers go here. So what's left now is to just to put the actual miter, minus the router, of course, the, the miter plate on here. All right, the miter plate itself has three different levels. The instructions say the middle. We're gonna choose the bottom. I don't know why, we're just rebels like that. One of the first things I'm actually noticing here that took me a second to figure out was how high this miter plate is off the table. And it may take you a second, or at least it took me a second. Typically, on a miter, we wanna be closer to the fence so that we can have things that actually don't slide underneath the miter fence, right? But this is a router table. Duh, we don't wanna hit the bit. And a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be doing with this is gonna have the wood upright like this. The ability to actually set the miter fence itself up higher so that we can clear the bit makes all the sense in the world. And this is why I'm really, really excited about this product. At $16.99 plus $2.99 for the sliding miter, let's just call it an even $2,000, you're getting a computer-guided router table. And that's gonna come pre-programmed with finger joints and box joints and dados and dovetails. So from a joinery perspective, this is gonna be able to take you to the next level. And once you get it dialed in, or I should say once we get it dialed in, we're gonna get perfection. And that, again, lends itself to tech in the shop. And especially, especially if this is your side hustle where time is of the essence, and time is of the essence, time is money. So if we can get these things and start cranking them out with perfection and more efficiently, that's just money in your pocket. This is super awesome. Let's turn it on. Ooh. All we got left to do is register it, drop a router in it, and we can actually start projects. It's super exciting. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna design a couple projects, we're gonna use it in the shop, and then we'll get back to you, we'll tell you what we think about it. In the meantime, make sure you check out our affiliate link. It helps with our caffeine habit, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.